Do not attempt. Garmin will not warranty your unit. You have been warned. But anyhow, this is what I did. So you go to developer mode in portrait orientation of your Garmin Overlander. Scroll all the way down till you see about device. Then you scroll down again and you'll see build number and you tap that repeatedly until you see a countdown where you get to be a developer. Once you have your developer options enabled, that puts you in the right setting to change a couple other uh, configuration items in the Garmin. So importantly, you want to be able to change your security to allow unknown sources to be enabled. Typically it's already enabled when you have your device set in developer mode. Then um, the next setting you want to do is control your brightness. And what that is is in your in your sleep mode. So it's a configuration item that when you're playing videos or doing something else, which this is about side loading this app, you want to be able to stay awake. So that way when you're playing something it'll stay on. This also affects your sleep mode while you're uh, on battery, so be careful, you will drain your battery quite a bit. The next is once you have these enabled, uh, you can go to your browser. You want to type in newpipe.apk, which I'll be doing here. Once new pipe APK comes up, you'll see the free YouTube client at the top. You select that, you go to the options to download the new pipe YouTube player. You want to select the options for the later version of Android, which is 4.4 plus. The Garmin Overlander is 601 and the date of this video, which is September 20th, 2021. You download your application, you scroll the downloads, you then can install from the downloads page. This is pretty brief. Now mind you, you have to have Wi-Fi while you're doing all this and then typically Wi-Fi wherever you're going to be using this, although it's highly recommended you don't use YouTube while you're driving. Your application will take about 20 seconds to install or less. Then you can open it not only from this menu, but I'll show you later in the video where you can open it from the main menu system. Then once it's loaded, you can search for your favorite YouTube channel. I'll type in an example here if you happen to be on this channel already watching it I'm sure you already have us but just do it again from here you can select uh, a video and you'll hear uh, the volume options and how it plays So, I don't have the audio enabled for this, but you'll hear uh, um, the Overlander how it plays. It scrolls through the video, and you can see the fidelity is pretty good. The responsiveness is pretty good. I would recommend that you have 4G LTE or faster, because uh, the Overlander does not do a great job of caching video. It does not have a video buffer that's too deep. So it will stagger and pause if you do not have a high-speed connection. Uh, that's a definite issue. And then going to the main menu, hit your six dots, you'll see new pipe already installed, and it will start playing the last video you watched automatically. And that's it. I hope you found this helpful.